First look at Oxygen OS based on Android Pie running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and guess what? You can now install and use Oxygen OS based on Android Pie on your Xiaomi Poco F1. In this video, we're going to have a look at the features of Oxygen OS and what is working, what is not working on the Xiaomi Poco F1. However, if you want to learn how to install Oxygen OS on your Poco F1, I have a separate video for that. It is linked in the description of this video and it will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen. So this is how Oxygen OS comes out of the box. You have your Android 9.0 Pi recents in the building along with the close all button at the bottom. As for the applications which come pre-installed with this port, you have the calculator app, you have OnePlus's native camera application which is not working for me, then you have the Chrome application, clock, community, contacts, downloads, a file manager, gallery, Google apps are baked in, messages, notes, OnePlus switch, a voice recorder application, Play Store, the settings application and weather application. Now because OnePlus camera is broken doesn't mean you cannot use your Google Pixel 3 camera APKs because camera 2 API is enabled out of the box. So I will go ahead and link a Google Pixel 3 camera APK for you peeps. However, if you find a better camera APK, please let me know via a comment. Let's now go into settings. Nothing much to talk about in Wi-Fi and internet and Bluetooth and device connection, but Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are working absolutely fine. Let's go into display and see what all customizations we have. You have your adaptive brightness in the building, working like a champ. Sleep will let you decide after how much time you want the screen to go to sleep. You have your night mode and your reading mode, both of which are working absolutely fine. Next up, we have screen calibration. This option is not working on the Poco F1. Then we have notch display in case you do not like the notch, want to hide the notch area, enable this guy and bam, Notch area is hidden, however, we're still using it to display our battery and other notifications. App display in full screen lets you choose what applications you want to use in full screen, working absolutely fine. We also have ambient display, but it is not working for the wallpapers. I did go ahead and install the Google Pixel 3 wallpapers on this guy. Let me go ahead and set this guy as the wallpaper. And bam, there we have it working like a champ on the desktop or the home screen. Let's go ahead and lock the phone. And there it is, working like a champ on the lock screen as well. Going back into settings, display, we have theme in the building. So let's go ahead and select this guy, choose the dark theme, wait for the UI to restart. And oh yeah, dark theme in the building, settings have been dark themed. Let's check the quick settings panel, dark theme as well. Try to change the accent color. Let's go ahead and choose pink. There it is, pink accent color in the building. If you want to change the font, you can also choose between Roboto and OnePlus's own slate font, working absolutely fine. And you can also change the font size, display size, customizations for the status bar, what is the type of battery style you're looking for, bar, circle, bam, circle, show the battery percentage, battery percentage in the building whether you want to see the network speed in the status bar or not, multiple options for time settings, and what all icons you want to see in your status bar. Next up in settings, we have apps and notifications. We have already discussed what all apps come pre-installed. You have time spent in apps. This is your digital well-being, which Google added with Android Pie. You can go ahead and limit how much time you want to spend in certain applications. Then you can customize your notifications, what kind of content you want to see on the lock screen, show all content or do not show any notifications at all. Do you want to see notification dots in the default OnePlus launcher or not? Whether you want do not disturb mode or not. Next up, we have default applications. So you can go ahead and choose what app you want to be the default app in case you have multiple browsers, multiple phone applications, different launchers, multiple SMS applications, multiple camera applications. I would prefer that you go ahead and change this guy to the Google Pixel 3 camera APK which we have installed. Then we have app permissions. From here you can see what all applications have access to say your contacts and you can enable and disable if you want to. Next up in settings we have sound. So you do have an issue wherein that the slider to control the media volume is on this side. 
the other issue which you might have is that you cannot put the phone to silent because we do not have the alert slider so you'll have to use a third party application to do that however if you do find a workaround again do let me know via comments below earphone mode is working oneplus audio tuner is not working you can choose your ringtone sms ringtone phone ringtone the default notification sound vibrate for calls incoming call vibration pattern customizations for that working like a champ vibration intensity also working like a champ you can customize it for incoming call notifications and what kind of intensity of vibration you want when you tap the phone next up we have buttons and gestures so no point in going in alert slider because we do not have an alert slider let's dive into navigation bar and gestures you can customize your navigation bar what kind of navigation bar you want you want all three buttons which is back home and recents or you want just back and home which is your android 9.0 pi gestures in the building and you can also choose to disable the navigation bar and use navigation gestures these are oneplus gestures wherein swipe up is home swipe up and hold will be recents and if you swipe up from left or right it will be back so working like a champ as you can see then we have quick gestures in the building you can flip to mute three finger screenshot let's try that swipe with three fingers bam screenshot in the building quick gestures working absolutely fine then you have double tap to wake enable this guy lock the screen double tap bam double tap to wake also working absolutely fine what is not working are these other screen of gestures wherein you can draw certain symbols to open certain applications this is something which is not working on the poco f1 then whether you want to turn the camera on when you press the power button twice enabled right now let's go ahead and press the power button twice and bam it is asking us which camera application do we want to use let's go ahead and choose the google pixel 3 camera apk in this guy just once and bam there we have it google pixel 3 camera apk in the building next up in settings we have battery so you have the option of enabling your battery saver in case you are not near a charging point and want to save battery turn on automatically select the percentage it will automatically turn the battery saver at that specific percentage or if you want to go ahead and turn it on right away just click on turn on now next up we have battery optimization oneplus is definitely known for aggressively killing apps to have a better battery backup something which i really don't understand why oems do you also have adaptive battery in the building something which google added with android 9.0 pi this guy will go ahead and check for any rogue applications draining excessive battery in the background and then let you know that there are rogue apps on your phone and you can take an appropriate action you also have your last full charge and your screen on time in the building let's now move over to security and lock screen so your pen is working absolutely fine your fingerprint scanner is working however the, if you're using the oneplus 60 oxygen os rom port your fingerprint scanner will not work if the screen is turned off if you want that functionality you will have to use the oneplus 6 rom port this is because the oneplus 60 has an in-display fingerprint scanner other than that if you want face unlock you will have to flash a specific zip file once you do that your flashlight toggle will not work however you can always go ahead and use a third party application to enable the flash if you were using your phone as a torch next up in settings we have utilities so your gaming mode is working absolutely fine i do not game but i can confirm that gaming mode is working quick launch won't work because we do not have an end display fingerprint scanner let's go into parallel apps choose whatsapp wait for it to create a replica of whatsapp open the home screen go into app drawer and bam there we have it Two instances of whatsapp which means parallel apps is working absolutely fine then we have app locker you can lock specific applications let me enter my pin of course this is not my real pin just makes it easier for me to type it in add an application let's choose calculator home screen app drawer open the calculator app bam working absolutely fine asks me for my pin back into utilities we have scheduled power on and off and you also have pocket mode which are working absolutely fine next up in settings we have digital well-being so something which google added with android 9.0 pi and great to see oneplus included by default in oxygen os this is from where you can track how much time you spent in certain applications and if you want to limit yourself from spending more than a specified amount of time in an application this is the place where you need to be 
nothing much to talk about in google and system as for the benchmark score this is the benchmark score which i got on this rom do note i have the 6 gb variant of the poco f1 and as i always say do not judge a rom by its benchmark scores everybody has different needs and use their phone in a different way so go ahead try the rom if you like it keep it if you don't like it discard it that's it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you